Ladies and mostly gentlemen, today we're going to talk about Torghast and more specifically we're going to take a look at some of the brand new cosmetic rewards coming to Torghast in patch 9.1. Yes, this actually is happening. But before we get into all of that guys, just want to shout out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to check me out streaming the 9.1 PTR, all the Burning Crusade Classic Beta or any World of Warcraft content, I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. Right, so yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's finally happening. They're finally adding cosmetics to Torghast. Wow, I really did not think this would happen, and it is happening, guys. In 9.1, they are adding shoulder transmogs to Torghast. And in this video, we're going to go over what they look like, how many there is, and how on earth do you get them. Because, yeah, you'll be surprised, actually. It's pretty darn easy, so that's pretty awesome. So, first and foremost, how many is there? Well... There is a total of 43 different appearances for your shoulder transmogs. Now, these are not part of a set. These are actually, I believe, taken from like NPCs and stuff like that. Uh, some of them are pretty cool. Some of them are massive on different races. It's definitely a menagerie of shoulders. I really do like them, actually. I think most of them look pretty great. They come in all different colors, as I said, 43 with 11 different designs. So 11 different unique designs with 43 in total with a variety of colors that are available. Now, these are available to all classes, although they do look plate. They're very, very much plate or male. They're available to everybody. So if you're a clothy, if you're a leather or if you're anyone, these will be available because they are cosmetic items. They're not specific armor types. This is available to absolutely everyone. So 43 brand new shoulders for your transmog. And of course, in 9.1, you can actually transmog different shoulders separately. So you can really go nuts with this and make some extremely unique and awesome looking designs with these transmog shoulders. So yeah, that's a lot of items to collect from Torghast, and it's going to take you a long while to get all of them for sure. Now, you're probably wondering, how on earth do I get these? How will I be wearing these shoulders? Well, ladies and gents, it's pretty easy. They drop in Torghast. Yep, there it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Amazing, awesome, great video. No, so they do actually drop in Torghast, as I mentioned. Now, they drop from layers 9, 10, 11, and 12. These are the brand new layers of 9.1. Uh, I did do a little bit of research going back on some older layers to see if it does drop, uh, but unfortunately, it does not drop in any of those older layers, unless it's a really low drop chance from those older layers. I couldn't get it to drop on any layers from 1 to 8. Now, it does drop from the last boss, which is now on floor 5. They've actually reduced the amount of floors in Torghast in general from 6 to 5, and it has a chance to drop from that last boss on floor 5. It also seems like if you have completed the layer for the week, the last boss will still have a chance of dropping these shoulders, even if you have collected the Soul Cinders and Soul Ash for the week from that specific layer. Uh, it seems fairly regular, honestly. I did a couple runs and I did get a couple drops, so it's not like a 1% or 2% drop chance. It seems fairly common to be honest and with 43 different varieties you kind of expect it to be honestly uh, and also it drops in the adamant vaults now the adamant vaults are like a new extra bit that you have to unlock through the Torghast talent tree and then you can go in there as long as you do like a certain rating on your Torghast run so essentially if you get like a four or five star run on your Torghast run you can continue on into the adamant vaults and there's another chance of getting the shoulders in there because there will be another boss at the end of that kind of section of floors. I think it's two floors in total. So kind of two chances to get a drop, but there is also another method of getting them. And this one is way easier and way more exciting for me. And that is actually from the broker vendors. So the broker vendors inside of Torghast will sell these shoulders. Now, from the looks of things, it is fairly RNG on which ones you will get. Uh, it looks like there's going to be two in total that will be available at 300 Phantasma, so definitely save that up. And you could purchase those on the third floor, so if you are just going to be farming shoulders, in theory, you could just keep doing just three floors and check the broker vendor each time. That's something you could potentially do. As of this PTR build, it rotates every single run from two different shoulders. And yeah, so that also does seem to be available from layer nine onwards. The broker vendors from layer nine, the brand new layers of gas coming in patch 9.1. So yeah, that's kind of it guys. A lot of shoulders. I'm honestly just happy that they're adding cosmetics to Torghast. It's something we've wanted for a long, long time. It's definitely the start of something good. Hopefully we get more going into future patches and maybe even more going into 9.1. This is the kind of first iteration of it. So looking good. There's no specific like, you know, you don't need to have a perfect Torghast run or anything like that. I literally had the worst run of my life and they still dropped. So 
No need to worry about being good, you literally just have to get to that last boss on floor 5 and kill it and hope for the best that the shoulders will drop or purchase them from the broker vendor. So guys, that's pretty much it. Do let me know what you think of these shoulders. Do you think this is a good step in the right direction? Will this make you do Torghast? I don't know, I think I might actually. As, as much as it pains me, I think I might end up jumping in there to try and get some of these transmogs because I think they look really great. And yeah, it's just another thing to collect, of course, and I'm a sucker for that. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to our amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. And if you guys support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. We've also got a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members. And as I said, I am now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. A lot of the research that went into this video did come from the stream today. So guys, if you want to see me kind of finding out this stuff live and in person, I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.